Greetings YouTube. I'm back with uh, another review this time of uh, another cult clone. This one is the Cimarron Frontier seven and a half inch barrel engraved nickel plated 45 Colt single action army revolver. This one you've seen in a couple of my videos as a comparison to other things but this is actually the first cowboy gun I ever bought. And I really wasn't even looking for a cowboy gun. But I was at Bud's. And Bud's is... It's a little dirty. I need to... Anyway. Um, I was at Bud's. Looking. Just looking. And I found this in the case. It was used. And it barely looked used. However, and I didn't know anything about these things at the time. The action was really loose. And I was like, well, I don't know, man, because it seems like it's pretty worn out. And I was talking to the manager who didn't know anything about these things either. And we were like, well, I don't remember what they're asking for it, but I ended up giving like four and a quarter for this gun. I'm thinking I can either fix it or sell it and at least get what I had out of it. And I would try my hand at cowboy gun. My dad has a lot of cowboy guns. He actually used to shoot cowboy action. And um, I've always liked the look of them. I always liked shooting his. I just never owned one. So I took a chance and I bought this thing. Didn't have a box or anything, so they threw in a free pistol case. But it's pretty. It's got the laser engraving all the barrel and on the ejector housing, on the cylinder, on the main body, on the loading gate. On the back strap. I mean, it's engraved everywhere. So, a little bit about this thing. This is imported by Cimarron. And I said, I didn't know at the time anything about these things. But, it says right there. Well, I have it upside down. I had it right the first time. Um, Cimarron Firearms Company. Fredericksburg, Te Fredericksburg Texas. And, uh, you can see there, it's 45 Colt. Uh, this one is a Pieta, and when I bought this, I had no idea um, that there was a difference between Pieta and Uberti, and I, mean, I knew there was a difference between those and Ruger and Colt, but I didn't know what I was buying. I just thought I was buying, well, I don't know. I'll try it. So, <clears throat> um, I get it home, and I shoot it. Now, I did change the grips on this one. Um, these are actually made by Arizona Custom Grips. Um, these are what he calls Magna Tusk. It's a, it's it's not plastic. It's something else. I'm not sure what, but they're kind of heavy and they feel real, which I like. And I think they look pretty cool too. They're just a little, well, they're ivory. They're off white, not like the stark white PVC grips that came on it, which I really did not like those. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with these grips. Arizona Custom Grips. Uh, I don't remember how much they were. I want to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 bucks. I think. Um, yeah. Now, these are the these are the uh, one-piece grips. It actually comes as three pieces. You have to glue the center insert uh, to one side, make sure it fits, and then put the other side with some glue on there and hold it together until it dries. Or you can send your lower, your trigger housing and back strap to him, and he'll do the work for you. Now, on this one, the first set of grips I got for this one, I uh, ordered it for the Pieta. He makes them for you, Birdie, as well. Um, they did not even come close to fitting. And after talking to him, he was saying, yeah, sometimes Pietas are not exactly standard. So, I was like, well, okay. So, I ended up sending him my back strap and uh, trigger uh, housing. And then he custom made these to fit my gun. So, um, and then sent me back the the parts I sent him with the grip. And I just put it back together. So, costs a little bit more to do it that way, but I really like how it looks. So, it was worth it. Um, and what I saved on the gun, um, I'm not complaining. So, <clears throat> some of you guys have watched my other videos especially the one on my USV, which is the Pieta, and I've been very unhappy with it. Well, this one, I really like. Um, 
Turns out, <clears throat> after shooting a couple other Pietas that I bought over the, since I bought this one, um, that's just how their action is. It's a lot lighter than a Uberti, um, and even a lot lighter than my standard. It's just, it's real light and real crisp, but it's, I mean, the cylinder locks up good. It's timed well. Um, there's no wobble back and forth or front and back. Uh, it's just, just how they are. Uh, Uberties are a lot stiffer. Um, so, and then having bought Uberties as well, I've noticed that there's a difference. So on this one, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, a, it's an 1873 clone. So I want to take the cylinder out and we'll kind of look at it and show you a little bit of the engraving close up. Actually, I'll do that first. So just kind of get close up in here and just so you can see some of the engraving on this. And granted, it's not hand engraved, it's laser engraved, but I still think it looks really nice. They did a really good job with it. Nothing on the bottom, of course, nothing on the front here, but there is some on the back strap. And on the barrel and on the ejector housing. Just pretty. You can see 45 Colt. It's on the top, top strap there. Now you can see this channel cut is wide. And you can see that the sight blade is wide compared to like the the um, 7th Cavalry and the USVs, which are narrow blades. And this is a narrow notch here. This is a later design, a later style that has the cross pin uh, retention instead of a screw here. Um, but yeah, everything else functions the same though. The cylinder still pops out. You still load one at a time through the loading gate, which is very tight on this one. Um, and these are snap caps. Um, so since the snap caps are already in there, I wanted to show you how this uh, how this works. Um, so it does have the four clicks: one, two, three, four. Trigger pull is very light, maybe I don't know three pounds or so, but the hammer pull is very light, much lighter than the Uberti. Even with the aftermarket wolf springs in the Ubertis, this is still lighter. And, and this particular one, unlike my USV. Is very smooth. Like it's, I didn't need to do anything to this one. Just, it's nice. Um, loading gate, and of course you go to half cock like that to unload it. Of course these are snap caps, so who knows how well that'll work because these are kind of the cheaper ones that I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, just pop them out. These, these snap caps don't like to play nice. They don't really fit in this cylinder all that great. I'm not sure these are Tipton's. Not my favorites. But uh, again, to load, I've demonstrated this a hundred times on a hundred different videos, but it's basically load one, skip one, load four, if you're going to carry it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Disassembled. Let's <clears throat> see, so we have the... Cylinder pin, it's got two notches for that safety thing that them and Uberti, well, Uberti used to, but both of them used to, the Prieta still does. Um, I guess it's for import reasons, so they can say it's a safety. Um, but yeah, that's the pin. I wish it was a fully beveled pin, it's not. It's just got these notches in it. So you gotta make sure you get it lined up just right. But, you know, other than that. Cylinder, um, obviously you can see I've shot this sucker a lot. There's the cylinders there, 45 Colt. Nice engraving. You can see not a lot of cylinder scoring there, so it's timed well. In fact, I don't see any. I shot this one quite a bit, and as you can see, I didn't really scrub it that well. But um, as far as on the cylinder bushing, it appears like it would be removable. It looks like there's a this piece would come out, and it looks like that piece would come out. But I'll be darned if I can get it to come out. It is in there. So I'm not sure if it's meant to be removed, if it's pressed fit in there, if it's just gunked in there. I don't know. But I can't get it out, and I don't want to damage the gun by trying to press it out. So I'm just going to leave it alone. 
So that bushing does not remove, at least on this one. But at least on this one, it looks like it should. Whereas on my USV artillery, it just looks like it's, the hole is just part of the metal. Like this doesn't look like a sleeve in there. It doesn't look like a bushing at all. It's just like this is just milled into the cylinder face. So I don't know. This gun was made in 2016, according to the receipt I got with it, because um, it had some of the original paperwork with the gun. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much the gun disassembled. Let me show how it fired, and uh, this part pretty smooth, whereas on my USB artillery it was not. Looking at the... Uh, surface back here it's you can feel that definite ridge there where oh, let me focus um, where the headspace kind of comes in so it's not a gradual spin it's there's, no, there's a surface there um, you can tell this is machining is a little rough uh, it does have this strike plate surface here hold on me one-handed you know how I am um, so that is put in there so Pieta does that like the old Colts Colts do um, and Uberti does not. So they pay the attention to this kind of detail, but they, they omit some of the other finer stuff, like making this smooth and, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, I can't really complain. It's, it's, uh, it's a good shooting gun. It's tight. It works well. Um, it's smooth. There's, I mean, you can tell there's some rubbing on the hammer there where things have worn, um, from shooting it. So it's not perfect, but and I say the laser engraving on the hammer spur was pretty nice. I think these look a little, this looks a little nicer than my Uberti's do. So, you know, some things are better on Pieta, some things are better on Uberti. And it's just a, it's almost like a crapshoot, really, uh, what you're getting. But like I said, this was a used gun. I don't know who had it, how many rounds I had through it before I got it. Um... I've put quite a bit through it because this is, like I said, it was my first one, my only one for a while. So I shot it quite a bit. Uh, look at those grips. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's the uh, Cimarron Frontier 7.5 nickel engraved. Made by Pieta in Italy. Thanks for watching.